When it comes to Windows Phone 8.1, Microsoft has one flagship feature that everybody's talking about, and that is Cortana, your personal voice assistant. Let's take a closer look. Cortana is definitely one of the most interesting aspects of Windows Phone 8.1. You see you have the double wide tile here and you can of course go through and change that so you can make it the medium size or really small. I happen to like double wide and it's kind of nice. The icon breathes, it almost has life to it. That icon can be described almost as a halo and I'm sure that's not a coincidence. As you can see it also flips over and gives you the latest information and news and alerts to you and it actually works well with the Bing News application. You can access Cortana two ways. There is, of course, the live tile, but there's also the search button, which now will bring up Cortana directly. That brings up the search screen, so it assumes you just want to search directly. You can type in, or you hit the microphone, and it will perform the search. What's interesting, if you type in the information, Cortana won't make any noise. So it's really good if you're in a library or a quiet place and you need to do a search, you don't need to actually worry about silencing your phone. On the other hand, if you hit the microphone button, of course, Cortana may respond back to you. Now, if you use the live tile though, this is the more full-featured experience. You can see what Cortana did. She just brought down information about me, my interest, and is delivering that in what's called the daily glance. So here's the latest news that I have said I was interested in, as well as entertainment news, here's po uh, political news, and Windows Phone 8.1 news, and as well as the local forecast, which is really nice. To configure all this, you see this little, what they call a hamburger button up here, and that accesses Cortana's notebook. So Cortana's notebook is where she stores all the information about you. That may sound a little creepy, but remember, this is all local on the device. Microsoft never actually sees this information. And in fact, you can go through and you control all of it locally on the device. That's in opposition to, say, Google, who basically collects all your info and uses it to deliver their Google Now experience. Uh, you can go through interests, and you can see everything here, so your daily glance is what I just showed you. Traffic, so that will be based on your location. It actually does learn where your home is and where your work is, and it will actually ask you, does, is this where you work, and you hit yes or no. Uh, from there, it will basically learn your schedule and tell you if there's traffic on the way home and give you better routes. Going down here, you can see news. So there's headline news, entertainment, uh, Star Wars Episode 7. And that does not come built in. And what I did was subscribe to that. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. And Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, you also have out and about, so eat and drink. It can give me recommendations, a trip planner. It can follow my flight information. And of course, weather near me. And back out here, there's remind me. Here are quiet hours, so you can configure how Cortana works so she doesn't disturb you during certain hours. And we showed you guys this before, but here are the breakout rules. So you can have an inner circle. Those are your closest friends and family. You can put them in here, and then you can basically give them certain rules so that they can get in contact with you even if you're during quiet hours. Backing out here, we have places, so you can specify locations, including your home, uh, favorite places that you go to, restaurants, and those kind of things, and Cortana will basically give you information around those. Previous music searches, and there are general settings for Cortana where you can go through and specify your name. You can sync up with Facebook, so it'll give you more information with that, as well as the battery saver search settings and more. Heading out here, you can see the little music icon. So that is the familiar um, music ID service. So if I tap that, it's going to listen and then try to ID the music. If it finds a song, it of course will I'll hook back up to the uh, Xbox Music where I can go and buy the song. Uh, if I do a search, there's two ways of doing searches. You can type in what your, your inquiry is. And if you do that, Cortana will stay quiet. It's actually really good if you're in an environment where you just don't want to disturb people and Cortana won't make any noise when she gives you results. Results. If you hit the microphone though, of course she may talk back to you because you're talking to her. And when you do searches, you can do interesting things like um, news on Windows Phone. And so it'll bring down information here and you can, you know, this is a familiar Bing screen where you have your web and you can basically find information as well here. Um, but this is the really the cool part right here. You can see more news. So you can see the subsection here. Now there's update me on this news topic. So if I tap that, it's going to add it to Cortana's notebook. So you can see it was just added. And I can go into interests. 
and there is Windows Phone there. If I tap into that, I can have that on or off and notify me when there are new news stories. Likewise, I can also pin that topic to my start screen and now it'll bring up that information so I can have quick access to it. It's a very powerful program and we really like what it does. Uh, it should give users quite a bit of flexibility. You can also ask Cortana all sorts of things. Where is the nearest Dunkin' Donuts? Dunkin' Donuts is nearby at 64 River Road West in Berlin, about two miles away. And as you can see, you've brought up the map, as well as I can hit directions now and get more information on there. You can also do all sorts of things like text Phil Nickinson. Tell him that I really enjoy reading Android Central, but WP Central is better. All right. You want to text Phil Nickinson. Tell him that I really enjoy reading Android Central, but double. All right. She didn't get that completely correct, but I am speaking at a distance here. So uh, you can also tell her different things. Remind me to call Mark in five minutes. Yes. Sure thing. And so Cortana did that. There's all sorts of things you can tell her to do, but if you're ever at a loss for word, just hit see more and it'll bring up all her dialogue. So you can see here you have phone, messaging, calendar, reminder, notes. And notes really nice because it'll dictate that and send it to OneNote. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, you have your alarm, music, places, search. And then here you go, here's the app integration. So apps also integrate with her. And if you tap on any of those, say Foursquare, you can see exactly what you need to say. So I can do a check-in, I can do Twitter, I can even do WP Central and bring up all those commands there. So it's really useful. One of the neatest features of Cortana is the ability to take a note as it integrates with OneNote and syncs to all your devices. To do it is really simple. You just can hit the microphone button and tell her to take a note. Note, I need to go to the mall tomorrow to pick up a new couch. Saving your note, got it. And so now she's recorded the note, it's stored away, and if I tap it, it goes right into OneNote. And you can see I have a little bit of the message translated and the message recorded. Note, I need to go to the mall tomorrow to pick up a new couch. And so I have the audio there. From this, I can then go to sync. I can share it with other people, including this new picker here. And I have Google Mail, Outlook, Tap to Share, NFC, Bluetooth, or Facebook. And I can post that information. I can also pin this to start, delete, view sync status. And I can also search recent and create another note. It's a very powerful feature and I think it makes Cortana one of the more unique apps out there. Cortana also has a bit of sense of humor. That's because she's programmed with what Microsoft is calling chit chat. They're basically responses to what are curious questions that people may have for her. Let's take a look at a few of them. Tell me a joke. A grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender says, we've got a drink named after you. The grasshopper says, you've got a drink named Steve. But I'm dumb. You're creepy. Is that all you got? <laughs> when were you born? By your calendar, I'm still in infancy. In bot years, I'm quite mature. Who is your creator? Come on, Chief. I can't give away all of my secrets. You are the best assistant ever. Thank you kindly. Are you a human? What does Cortana mean? I am named after Cortana, the AI from Halo. Or since she's 500 years in the future, she may have named herself after me. Microsoft has done a great job here with Cortana. It's definitely one of the most interesting aspects of Windows Phone 8.1. Does it live up to the hype? We're not entirely sure, but we did have a lot of fun with it, and I think you will too. The more exciting story here, though, is what Microsoft will do with Cortana in the next year or two. It's going to roll out, hopefully, to Xbox, to Windows 8.1, and we'll see it become more powerful. And that's probably the bigger story here. 
Head to WP Central to read the rest of our review. Let us know what you think.